well in the last video we have discussed about the sql query and we have learned how can you create a small sql queries like basic sql queries right and uh, in this video we're going to talk about how can you write a sql query which will help you to fetch the data from child object to parent object or from parent object to child objects right see we as a developer have to fetch a lot of time the data like this your query will fetch all the account and its related contacts or your query might fetch the contact details along with its account detail when you try to fetch contact details like id name this is this from contact along with the account detail this is where you're writing a query from child to parent and when you have to fetch the data from let's say there are three accounts and each account has like many contacts and you have to write a sql query which will fetch the account and its related contacts this is where you have to write a sql query from parent to child okay so uh, let me quickly show you how can you write the queries here right so i'm gonna go here and use the same query editor all right so this is the query editor by the way whenever you find a query and you want to make sure that the query works properly right so you can just copy that query and paste it in the query editor so you have to click on this tab called query editor paste your or, or type your sql query and execute you get the result right this query is giving this result right now let me write a small query my query would be select id comma name from contacts from contact correct so contact is an object and this will simply give me all the contact id and name id and name right so i have total 20 contacts and i got all the contacts id and name i can append here any field that i want so i can go to contact object and find uh, whatever field I want to paste it there right so go to contact and get the contact object fields and let's say I want to um, use the birth date right so just copy this field name and paste it here very simple right and then click on execute see now you'll see all the contacts ID and name and birthday now what if i here uh, i have to fetch the account details as well let's say there is a contact name john okay this contact my sql query is giving me the result of the contact id name and birthday at the same time i want to see what is the account of john so what i have to do is i just have to put comma the name object name is account right so account dot name okay so account dot name if you click on execute this is going to give you the id of that contact name birthday along with the account name you want to see the account id as well just put comma account dot id execute now you'll see the contact details along with this its account date name and the id so this is how we write sql query from the child object contact to fetch the parent data as well very simple all you need to do if it is a standard object just put the object name dot whatever field name that you want to fetch okay now the same thing if you want to do for the custom object for the standard object is just the account i mean uh, let's say account and opportunity you're writing select id name from opportunity right you have to put select id name comma account dot name from opportunity that also will work correct so if it is a standard object you just have to put the account i mean the object name parent object name here but if it is a custom object then this query will be looking like this by the way i have two custom objects created so far let me show you this if i go to schema builder right schema builder is something we discussed uh, in the admin sections correct hope you remember and if you go to schema builder and uh, try to fetch two objects clear all see the head office head office and uh, sorry 
H E A D head office and outlet okay head office is the parent outlet is the child right one head office may have multiple outlets and it's a master detail relationship now the same sql query that i had written for account and contacts i'm going to write it for custom objects and you have to see something here okay for the custom object it's the same thing but the relationship field looks a little different okay so now i i'm going to go and write the same query for outlet let me just remove all this put select id comma name from what outlet do you think this will work no this will not work why because it's a custom object you cannot put outlet it's a it's not a standard object you have to put the api name of outlet you got it right api name of outlet is what outlet underscore underscore c hope you know what is api name right let me just quickly show you this if i go back to the object manager and uh, go to the outlet util here is my object and if you see the object definition page right this is the object detail page this is the api name so you have to use this api name in the case of custom object all right that's what i have used here so select id name from outlet underscore underscore c if i click on execute here we go i have no outlet or oh, i have three outlets so i i can see three outlets data right and here if you want to add few more fields for an example let's say you want to add you want to see the head office by the way i have a i have a field called head office okay what if you want to see in the same query the head office's details as well so let me just copy this and put it here in my query directly select id name comma control v do you think this is going to work yeah so it is giving you the id of that head office only what if you want to see the head of his name also this is going to give you the id because that's the field name right do you think if i put dot uh let's say name is it gonna show me the head of his name no see you got this error or oh, we can read this error right see whenever you use custom object right the there's something called a relationship name and the relationship name ideally it is going to be like this head office underscore underscore c you just have to remove the c and put r that's the relationship name now if you click on execute here we go i can see the id name and head office name you get it so head office the relationship name become underscore underscore r so you just have to remove c i mean you have to replace c with r because if it is a custom object the relationship name is nothing but uh, ending with underscore underscore r not c got it now you can put the same thing uh, whatever head office fields that you want to fetch just put comma and uh, keep doing it like you know id i'm not sure what are the other fields we have in head office it will just keep showing you understood hope this is clear like how can you fetch the data from the child object like here outlet you are writing the query in the outlet you are writing the form in the outlet outlet is the child so how can you fetch the parent data parent data from the child query got it because you are writing the form in the outlet only right so we have seen the same thing for the standard objects and custom objects hope this is crystal clear please go and type in right this this ed query editor you open it up and here you please type in the moment you type and see do a little bit of changes here and there and then you'll get the confident this is something you have to go and uh, do practical okay only theory is not going to help you hope this is clear how can you go and uh, fetch the parent records detail from the child object next video we're going to see how can you write the same sql query to fetch the data from parent to child it means it's going to give you okay this particular head office name india head office has total three outlets outlet one two one three so you have to write the query in the parent it's going to give you the um, child details as well okay see you in the next video